there is a certain level of resilience and a certain level of toughness that you got to kind of have if you're going to be an entrepreneur, because if it was completely easy, if it was just so simple, you know, everyone would sign up to be an entrepreneur. this is what something Tori and I were talking about last night, the hard part in any business, in any entrepreneurial endeavor you go into. And Tori was talking about how, you know, she was working on a, on a really big deal that ended up, I think I talked briefly about it on Tuesday, a big deal that she worked really, really hard on. And then it didn't work. It didn't come together. And she was saying to me last night, she's like, look, I don't, I'm not really built for rejection like that. Like that really like, like, you know, uh, that, that, that's hard right? That's hard to go through that rejection of a deal that you work so hard on. And she's like, I don't know how you guys do it. You know, when, when you're every day, you're getting told no, or you're losing deals. And I was talking to her, I go, you know, I think obviously there's a certain amount of, of, you know, as you do business longer and longer and longer, there's a certain amount of uh, resilience that you have to build up if you want to be an entrepreneur. And I think that maybe some of you guys that have maybe joined recently or been in for a while and you haven't hit your stride yet, maybe because, you know, you're, you're not maybe putting the full, the full Monty into it or the full effort into it because, you know, maybe you had like a, you know, a disappointment here or there. And, uh, you know, if I look over the years of, of being an entrepreneur and doing, doing this stuff, it's funny because it is true. Like 80 to 90% of the day, I'm getting doors shut in my face. I'm getting deals that I thought were about to go, go sideways, unravel. Um, you know, you're, you're getting, you know, I had this, this PO for a large amount. It was like a $10 million PO and it was locked up, done. And I got a call two days later and then they backed out of a bunch of the, the, the items. And so it's like, you can't let those things be the dictator of if you're going to be an entrepreneur or not, because it's happening to every one of us. And the bigger you get as an entrepreneur and the bigger your businesses get, the bigger those disappointments and those, those doors being slammed become, you know, it's not, not a $150 slam in the door that you lost. It might be a $15 million slam in the door as it goes. Um, so I want you, I just want you guys to know that from a, just from, from, you know, someone that's out in the trenches now, um, you know, every day, you know, almost double probably what a lot of people are, are doing. It's no different. It's no different. It doesn't get, it doesn't get any easier when you get a door slammed in your face, but there is a certain level of resilience and a certain level of toughness that you got to kind of have if you're going to be an entrepreneur, because if it was completely easy, if it was just so simple, you know, everyone would sign up to be an entrepreneur. There's risk in being an entrepreneur. Uh, but there's massive reward. One being that you get to decide what you do with your life and your time. And I think a lot of us, um, that's why we're here. 